Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about security while living in the Philippines. And what I'm talking about in particular is theft in the dwelling of where you reside. Stick around. Alright guys, so I want to talk to you about uh, the security uh, and the different types of living styles that you can have here in the Philippines uh, when it comes to security. Now I'm going to start off with where I live currently for security. Now where I live currently you can see that this is more of what I would call a compound. And you can see the gates over there. This is a compound. It's all walled in. And uh, I do want to show you a particular feature. This is very common in the Philippines, and I guess it's through Mexico, South America, and other places too. But like the walls, you can see how, how high the wall is uh, behind me here. But if you look at the top of the wall, uh, the top of the wall is embedded with broken bottles, glass. So that does deter people from climbing over the wall. And then of course you got the, the wall behind me. Now that borders another house and I don't know if there's some kind of rule, but they can't, they don't have the broken bottles there. Um, and then the front is a gate. So again, this would be considered, uh, I guess a compound. And uh, I'm here in Dumaguete, so a lot of people a lot of foreigners will live in these type of uh, uh, compounds where it's all gated in. Basically, it's kind of like your own little oasis when you come home. You know, you go in through the gate, come out of the gate, and then the rest of the time you're in this compound. So when you live in a compound, you don't really have to worry about theft. Now, would I leave my door wide open or unlocked at nighttime? No. But... 99% of a chance that uh, nothing would ever happen. Um, I feel pretty secure just uh, in my in my dwelling. And of course the owner is uh, up front and he's got CCTV as well. Now the second type of uh, dwelling that you might live in here, you might rent out an individual house, but uh, you might live in a, in a house that is simply gated. Um, a lot of times they will have walls and then the front entrance is a wrought iron type gate that will open and close for your car or motorbike to pull in. And then it locks up with a chain or a padlock. And uh, that is pretty common for houses around here. And a lot of times you'll see, you don't see it on our place here because we're in a compound. But a lot of these places will just be uh, barred windows. And... Uh, that's commonplace here in the Philippines too. Now you do have these standalone homes that don't have the, the, they're not in a compound, they're not gated. A lot of people just don't, don't have the money and they can't really afford that. And uh, in those situations, the best security is probably just your neighbors, right? You know, just your, your being uh, close with your neighbor here, they know what's going on, who's coming in and who's going out. The, the other thing is just to, to live in an apartment. And most apartments, uh, big apartment complexes here, they will have a security guard at the entrance. Um, there's a, a, a entrance to come in and out of that apartment. And there's a little security booth there. And they will come in and out of there and the security will sometimes need to see a pass or make sure that you actually reside there. And if you're visiting somebody, then he might collect your ID or something along those lines. So uh, that's another option here or another thing that you see here in the Philippines. And uh, the last one is the one that I'm most familiar with and that 75% of my time while I've lived here in the Philippines, I've I've done this, I've lived in a condo. And a condo overall, I suppose, is even the most secure. Um, nobody can just go into the condo. They, the security is at the, at the entrance. You usually have to sign in. And if you want a guest to come visit, you usually have to sign them in. They have to leave an ID. 
so you have security uh, there's only one entrance going in through the lobby or the parking garage which is usually covered by security and uh, and of course your door you probably have a deadbolt and a, and the regular lock and you got CCTV throughout the uh, hallways and stuff so that is what I'm most familiar with uh, as a single guy I would say a condo has probably been the best option uh, for myself you know while I've been living here in the Philippines a, a condo is certainly the easiest and uh, I do have a video of what my budget was and talking about when I was single uh, why I think a condo is the best option you can check out that video up above and uh, again it's another hot day in the Philippines and uh, I have these uh, cooling hats that I wear there's a link down in the description for my Geo Essentials where you can check out uh, that and other uh, uh, things that I recommend for the Philippines living or traveling here. I do want to talk also about uh, security when walking around or, or traveling around in the Philippines. Now most of the time you don't really have to worry. It's a very safe place, the Philippines. In fact, I think the U.S. actually ranks higher in crime than the Philippines. So in those terms the Philippines is actually safer. I do I do have friends that uh, have a, come across a few issues. I'm going to talk about those here next. Um, I've I've had two two friends. I had one where we went to a festival in Cebu, very crowded and those type of events like uh, uh, a festival they do attract pickpockets and even Filipinos are aware of this they'll say hey watch hold your hold your phone don't carry a lot of money don't bring your wallet things like that because they will travel to these festivals just to pickpocket people and that's kind of how they make their money they go to these festivals and uh, so I had a friend who was bumped into that you know of course they always bump into you and you're in a crowded a crowded place and they they grab your wallet or whatever and by the time you look around they've already disappeared into the crowd that happened to my friend in Cebu. Also happened when we, my, myself and my friend uh, were in Bacolod and we went to a festival, the Masquerade Festival there. He got his phone stolen. Also, so big crowds, pickpockets happen. So if you're gonna go to one of these festivals, do not bring your wallet. Um, maybe bring whatever, however many pesos you need and put it in your front pocket or hold it or a money belt or something like that and again uh, you can check out my geo travel essentials i got a lot of things for security that i recommend uh, the other thing that's happened to some of my friends is they i have a friend that lives actually kind of like a compound but during the day i think the gates are uh, the doors are wide open and I know they had went out for the day and I think they had towels like a beach towel and maybe some water shoes and things like that outside drying and uh, when they came back home later that night their stuff was gone. Uh, nobody broke into their house but people did come in and steal the stuff that was outside so you do have to be aware of if you leave shoes or things like that outside just uh, keep your cheap slippers Filipinos will keep their cheap like slippers or sandals outside and they bring their nice shoes inside that's what we do as well uh, another friend of mine I think uh, also same thing the they can lock the gate at night but during the day uh, I think it was open and I think somebody stole some of their belongings that were outside as well nothing real expensive but uh, break-ins aren't real common but you do want to deter them of course and that's where a gated house um, a compound like this bars on the window double locks you know the deadbolt and a regular lock those are all important things an alarm system CCTV those are all good things to have as well so but overall I've never had never been held up I've never been pickpocketed uh, never been in a in a fight uh, the only time I almost got into a fight was with another foreigner a couple times and 
alcohol is involved, not with me, but uh, the other party. And so avoiding those situations, you can, you can avoid that, you know. Uh, I do want to talk about, okay, so you, you have, you got these money belts uh, that you can have to keep some of your money. I don't care. I don't recommend carrying all your IDs and all your credit cards. One ID, one card, that's all you need with you. Leave the rest back at the, uh, at the hotel in the, in the, in the safe. Or if, if you don't have a safe, get one of those travel bags. I highly recommend. They can be a bit pricey, but they will last you forever. Lock up your stuff, passport money, things like that inside that bag. You can lock it to the bedpost or the, in the closet on the hanger. Uh, again, in my Geo Travel Essentials, you can find all these things. I highly recommend it. Uh, wallets, like a front wallet uh, that holds your cards in. I highly recommend those. Those are all great stuff to have. So, yeah, check those out. Um, but overall, security-wise, in my seven years, going on seven years here now, never really had any problems. Never had anything stolen from me. No violent crime, no pickpockets, no uh, fights, no uh, theft. And a few friends, like I said, in crowded festivals got their phones lifted. A mistake partly on, uh, on, their, on their, partly on their part, it was actually a mistake because they should have been holding on to their phone like everyone else, you know, not just put it in your back pocket. And uh, other people leaving things outside when they probably should have had it locked inside. Other than that, uh, really no problems uh, for the most part, safer than the U.S., I would say. Depending on the area, of course, you know, you, you, you never know. So Maya and I are getting ready to head out of town. We are going to Cebu. We're going to check out uh, the aquarium, Snow World, uh, a brand new hotel that's opened up in Mactan Newtown. I'll give you my review of it let you know whether it's a place I would recommend to stay at when you land in Cebu or not. And um, watch out for that video and check out Maya's channel because she'll be doing reviews on it as well. Thank you guys so much and I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.